old folks. It's uh, what's the date today, Kathy? April second. So I can say it's officially springtime in Newfoundland. <laughs> we just got the pond. Just uh, we just actually got it all fired up. Got a few things put back out. We got the pump put back in the skimmer and the filters, and we got the filters and the charcoals. What are you talking about? Fireballs. Fireballs put in the in the pole. So as you can see, there's still ice right there. Oh, look, fish are starting to come out. Okay. This is the first time we've seen the fish in months. Wow, look at so they're slowly starting to come out. They're probably pretty weak now, eh? Yeah, pretty chill. chill. See if I can zone in on them. Oh, yeah. So they've been dormant since when? Mm, since about October? Yeah, mostly. Well, yeah, I'd say October we shut off the pump. Yeah. So you'll see little discs like over see if I can see if I can zone in on it you'll see little discs there like that well they're the air stones that we placed in the pond over the winter so that's pretty well what kept them alive they were here in the pond right. it's bro as I would say what about eight inches six oh, to eight oh inches my, at least uh, the only place it didn't really freeze deep it only froze about three inches was in the middle of the pond and the reason why that was is because if you remember we made this cover for it right? right but the cover only covered what about three quarters of it yeah. and the reason why we didn't build to go to full length of it is because we figured the water might stay too warm and the fish wouldn't hibernate well that was kind of a mistake because we had a kind of a record cold year right it was a different winter, it was a different winter. we never cold. had a lot of snow but we had a lot of cold and of course what was happening the uh, the wind was coming on each side of that cover and freezing it up so what we're going to do is we're going to take this again and we're going to add another three feet to it so you can always pull back the cover when you want it cooler yes exactly yeah so that's what we're going to do uh, this box that you see here well that box is just the uh, air pump for the ear stone so that's coming out of there shortly we're supposed to get some more snow flurries next week and stuff, but I don't, we're not going to get a deep frost anymore, so the pond will be safe to use like that. And eventually we'll just haul up those ear stones, and uh, everything got to grow again. All the hostas, yes. okay, you know, water plants. There's a little bit of wildlife around. There's a bear over there. He looks like he's trying to get a drink. And uh, this morning I seen he had a little, or she had a little cub, and uh, there he is. there's the cub, smile cub. Anyway, so that's uh, that's that part of it. Oh yes, and okay, we'll uh, show you the, the people that's been watching me do these posts on the uh, uh, fabricating these posts. Well. There it is there. Let me get a better shot of it for you. Better angle. There's ear chimes on it. Or ear chimes. <laughs> you're, you're fixing hey, on ear. Yeah, ear chimes. That's not wind bad. Wind chimes. Wind chimes. There's a blooper for you. Yeah. And uh, it's supposed to have a disc on the end of the string here. And there it is there. Uh, we take it off when it's windy because it, it drives it kind of nuts. And of course the, uh, the plane lights up in the night because of the LED light. And we got some, uh, what do we got missing here? Oh, I'll tell you what we got missing here. We got the uh, bug deflector. Let's go get the uh, bug there's zapper. The bug there's the zapper. We call it a bug zapper, but I kind of call it the mother-in-law zapper. <laughs> yeah. And uh, move back so you can get a good picture of it. Good view of it. There it is. Okay. And then uh, over here on the scrolls, scroll brackets here, there's going to be hanging plants here. So that's the plan. And then I might do a slight mod. What I might do is I might cut a couple of grates out here on the zapper and run just a small wire down into a, a basin to put some water in. And that's where your mother will sit. I'm trying to right? figure, where are because, you going? Because she loves to soak her feet. Yeah, so you want to... Yeah, yeah perfect. 
<laughs> yeah. And we get to see the smoke and the flames and the, you know, it just adds to the, the view of the pond, right? So yeah, so that's that one. And uh, we still gotta do a bit of, I guess, groundwork right there. We gotta put a bit of topsoil and stuff around it because I was kind of trying to pour this between snowstorms and, yeah, yeah. and freezes, right? Weather. Yeah. So as you can see, our tools are still out that we were using to get the pond up and running. So let's go down, uh, let's go down front. I'll show you what we got down uh, front that we did. So right here, we kind of had a, a wooden structure with just a, yes. just a little sign pointing towards the, the garage. And of course, we, we made a mini version of what's out back. And that's a solar LED light there. And a few little scratches on it there now where we've been moving it around in the shop. So I'll fix them up. And I made this, uh, this arrow. And of course, Kathy did the lettering in uh, all that white is reflective material, right? Like you'd see on an ambulance or, or whatever, police vehicles and the scroll brackets we made. And of course, uh, this cement is poured in, the, in there in the floor or in the ground. Then over here is the other one. We had a small clock there. It was on a like a copperish type of material. Kind of looked a, like the odd man out. So we made this one up and of course two hanging plants is going to go on that as well. And we have some wind chimes there. Hopefully to drive the night neighbors right out of their minds. <laughs> if we don't get enough wind here, I think I'm going to mod this one. I'm going to strap a compressor to it. <laughs> I just constantly blow wind to it. True, good idea. Right, you know? Yep. Especially if it's a calm day. Yeah. You know, you'd hate to have it too peaceful around. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And of course, we don't have any water put in our our fountain yet. The, uh, the funny thing about this fountain, this fountain really, really has, has its place. Mm -hmm. Because over across the street, there's a, a pizza joint. That's right. And the pizza joint, of course, everybody throws the crust away, all the kids from the school. Yeah. And our crows, and there's like, this is the capital of crows. Oh yeah, this is our neighborhood. The crows will come over and they will dunk their crust down in this. Lower level. In the lower level. And they'll uh, soak it up, get it soft so they can eat it. Yep. They will never dunk it in the top. They just use the top for drinking. For drinking. <laughs> it's drinking water. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now the head crow, he'll drink from here. Yes. Won't he? Yeah. Like the boss? Yeah. The rest of them got to stand around here and drink from there. But they'll always dunk from the, the bottom. bottom. Yeah. We've never seen them dunk in the top. No. Nope. And what'll end up happening, like after a week or two, you have to come out with your hose mm -hmm. and you got to clean out all the old crust and crumbs oh, yeah. and stuff. Yes. So you can get the water flowing. And they're on the wires and they're waiting. Yep. For it to be done. Yeah. So they have their, uh, it has its uses. So that was pretty cool, eh? Yeah, they're pretty smart. Yeah. So we haven't done a video in a while because it's just been, we had some arse holy things on the go. <laughs> it's a good way of putting it. Right? So anyway, we got sort, them kind of sorted out. Um, what do we got coming up? Well, every spring I always take the old truck, which is a 1993 Green, yeah. GMC four-wheel drive pickup truck. It's got its original paint. It's as as well. Regular viewers would know the truck. And every spring we take it and we do mods. Well, we got a pile of stuff coming for this truck now. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do, the next few videos are going to be just on the 1993 GMC pick-me-up truck. Yeah, that'll be interesting. And we'll do some uh, individual mods on that. And we won't mention what they are now. They're not that complicated mods. Like, it's not engine swaps or transmission swaps. Like, we're not lowering the, we're not chopping the, the cab or anything like that. And we're not giving it a lift kit. No. But, you know, we're giving it some, let's just say, some upgrades. Yeah. Like, things have changed since 1993. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Like, a, a Bluetooth bit. back in 1993 meant that you were paying a trip to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Hey? You know? That's, yeah, that's true. You know? So, what's that? You know, and, and an iPad back in 1993 meant that you had an eye injury. Yeah, that's an iPad. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, like, you could take it from that, guys. And, and you know, lighting has changed a lot since then. Big time. So, you know, there, there's there's certain upgrades that 
that I need to do, you know, because after all, it is in 1993 and I only got two more years and it's paid off. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that being said, I can afford a few dollars now. Yeah. Right? So, well, guys. You can do a bit more with it then, right? Uh huh. You can do a little bit more. Well, you know, that's what it is then. Well, when it's paid off, well, then, then it gets to tilt cab and then it gets the dumping box and then it gets the lift kit and then it gets the oh, okay. you know the engine no it won't <laughs> no <laughs> but anyway so folks that's it that's just a little short video to let you know what we're up to as you can see most of our snow okay. is gone and uh, we'll see you the next time around so you guys take care and we'll see you in a what maybe a week yes. yeah, whenever the stuff shows up stuff. stuff in Newfoundland must come by turtle yeah, and we'll uh, got to head up and clean up the garage. So we'll see you uh, next time around, folks. So thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good weekend, and God bless.